What's up guys, it's Alexandria Pike. Welcome to my channel and in today's video I am gonna be watching eight crazy and horrifying videos caught on GoPro. GoPro is like a ca a tiny camera I think. We all ha we I'm gonna have to get one soon. But I have no idea where to get them. So this video belongs to Mr. Nightmare. I'm gonna tag his channel and and link put this channel link in the description down below, so you guys can visit the channel. And if I get to 200 or even above 200 f subscribers, I will be doing. A newest um, video that that they recently that he recently posted but first you would have to watch a video to see if it will tell you not to like post um, like make it for uh, different videos and stuff like a warning and just disc discrimination I think so I wouldn't so I won't get in trouble so yeah, let's get started, and also the videos I'm talking about, there's five right now, but if there's new ones, if there's new ones that come um, out within the, t the time frame of me getting almost over or two, 200 f subscribers, then you can pick one of those newest videos. So let's get started. And I'm gonna um, show you what videos are on that is recent after this video if I do not forget. So let's get started. The following videos you're about to see are some shocking and or disturbing moments caught on GoPros. For those of you who have been watching my videos for a while, you may remember some of these from a deleted video many years ago. A lot of urban explorers have a fascination with abandoned railroad tracks and tunnels. Train routes can be taken out of use and shut down for multiple reasons, and rarely are the tracks removed thereafter. Sometimes the tracks left behind are repurposed for things such as pedal carts. Usually though, they're just left to decay. A lot of people like to explore these abandoned tracks and tunnels but sometimes people mistake active train routes for abandoned ones, and this has led to some pretty shocking close calls. Filmed somewhere in Mexico, this video was recorded by Brian Garcia's GoPro, as he and a few friends walk into a tunnel of an active railroad track which they mistakenly assume to be inactive. I'm not making fun of these people at all, because the he this because he said that they mistaken it to be like not unused anymore but um if my friends um this and i decided to go in to a railroad track tunnel i would have a feeling um not to go in there since who knows what could happen like there could be killer clowns coming chase you which i hate clowns now since 2019 i was chased by one um i wouldn't go in any tunnels even if it's like abandoned i would rather send the boys in because i'm gonna be like the only female in our new paranormal investigation channel I think mostly so there's gonna be like some girls that would probably join us which most likely gonna be one extra goal so let's continue As 
as the group walks down the tunnel, unsuspecting of what's to come. Their carefree attitudes are shattered as the sound of an approaching train can be heard, and with only seconds to act, they turn around and make a beeline for the exit. Oh no! Chipotle's braised beef barbacoa might be our best kept secret. Seriously, an ad. Slow cooked, responsibly raised beef, seasoned with garlic and cumin, hand shredded for fall of the fork tenderness. Chipotle's braised beef barbacoa. If you know, you know. Why are there always ads when it like starts getting to like a good pot? This is. This is technically not good because they could instantly go on over by a train because the train goes super fast and it's like metal. But when they're almost out, it goes through that. I hate that when that happens. And I can't shut off my Wi Fi because this video will not play without Wi Fi. So. And also, all this running around is making my eyes blurry. So let's get let's get to new. The viewer of the video doesn't realize just how close behind them the train was until the blaring sound of the horn could be heard from directly behind them, and they all make it out of the tunnel with barely three seconds to spare, narrowly escaping with their lives. Similarly, in this following video, two unsuspecting individuals decide to enter the tunnel of a railroad, unbeknownst to them, an active railroad. These two enter the tunnel on their bikes, and after hearing and feeling... Did he just say on their bikes? I didn't even bring a bike there. Inside the tunnel, I would just drop it and go in but I wouldn't I'm just saying if I decide if I ever decided to which I probably will never because I've seen on the news that people um, get on the railroad track and they get one over um, I wouldn't even bring my bike I would just put it on the side and then go in and if the, and then one bike out if there's a train. But I think a bike will probably be faster um, from what a human can run away from a uh, from getting hit, in, hit by a train. I think I think this might be actually about like railroads. Because this is like the second video, but and it's also about someone going in the railroad tunnel. I'm not making fun of them or anything. I would totally go in the railroad, the train tunnel thingy, um, if I was really curious, which I am curious, but still. I wouldn't want to go in there just in case it is vacant, vacay, or however you say it, abandoned and stuff. Because there could be homeless guys there, killer clowns, anything that can kill you. 
homeless guy can probably just go up with you with a weapon and threaten to hurt you if you don't give them the money like technically mug you feeling the vibrations of an oncoming train they both turn around and head for the exit However, the one with the GoPro spends a concerning and questionable amount of time trying to move his bike off the tracks to avoid it being hit. I told you! Is my microphone even on? Yeah, it is. I told you! That's another reason why I would never bring my bike there, because the bike goes on the railroad tracks when you don't want it to. And that could be very, very dangerous. Hit instead of simply getting himself out of the tunnel into safety. Come on, Sadie. And this almost cost him his life. As once again, just like in the previous video, he manages to escape the tunnel with less than three seconds to spare. And in this video, another YouTuber is exploring a railroad tunnel, and he was. That's what it's called a railroad tunnel. Yeah, I'm starting to have a feeling that this is all about railroad tunnels. Except for the last video. <sighs> I don't know what to say. But why are you guys going in a railroad tunnel even though it's, it looks abandoned? Especially with a bike. That's very dangerous. He was unaware of the train schedule. So right as he's in the middle of the tunnel, the unexpected... Let me guess, the train comes, he wants, and hopefully escapes? Hopefully that's just what it is. They won oh, out of the tunnel. None of them get went over sound of an approaching train forces him to seek cover. He feels the whale with his head to feel the vibrations on the track confirming the oncoming train. Oh! That's a great skill to do. If you're in a tunnel, just see if there's a train coming by um, feeling the whale's to feel the vibration of the train. That's a great idea. That's a smart idea. Oh, fuck. Unfortunately, timing was on his side in at least one way, as he was next to a safety niche as the train was a... A safety niche... niche... However he said it, it was a recess in the wall meant for taking cover and to avoid being hit by a train. Train tunnels have that? I never knew that. Cool. It's approaching. And the train was coming from where he came in from. a more common occurrence than you may think, and there are actually hundreds of deaths per year from people trespassing on active railroads. There's an expression when it comes to bears. If it's black... I think that's the mama bear in the cub. Number two. Oh, I didn't realize there was numbers. Okay, so the first one was two separate videos and two separate guys, but video number one. Okay fight back. If it's brown, lie down. If it's white, say goodnight. If it's black, fight back. If it's brown... If it's black, fight back. Who would fight a bear? I'm just saying. 
if you find a bear, there's a 50-50 chance you might die. But I technically never knew anything about those kind of animals in school. Why do you have to fight back a black bear? Lay down if it's like brown? Down, lie down. If it's white, comes to bears. If it's black, fight back. If it's brown, lie down. Well, why do we... Okay. If anyone knows much more information about bears, like why you have to lay down if it's brown, fight back when it's black, because fight back with a black bear is mostly likely you're going to end up dead. If it's white, say goodnight. It's what is that supposed to mean? Oh. Pretty self-explanatory. Black bear sightings rarely end in attacks, but if they do, your best course of action is to make your called it self appear as big as possible and to fight back with everything you've got. Bear co country. Bears enter this campground, stir all food and vehicle, all wildlife is dangerous. Do not approach or feed. Who would even feed a bear? If you see a brown bear, you have no chance of fighting back, and it's best to lie down and play dead. And if you see a polar bear, you're as good as dead. A polar bear. A polar bear. A polar bear is in the Antarctica. And I think also in Alaska. Polar bears are like snow bears. I don't, I don't, pretty, I really am sure you don't see a white bear. Um, if it's nothing but, if it's nothing but, oh wow, I can't, okay. I don't think you can see a white, a uh, polar bear unless you're in the Antarctica, because... No one sees a polar bear. It's like a whale. There are many videos on the internet capturing people's encounters with black bears. And while some can be terrifying, for example... That looks like a medium-sized bear, as in like a sister. Black bears stalking and following people, or bluff charging people, rarely do these encounters lead to actual attacks. That's why this video, captured by Canadian Richard Wesley, is truly shocking. While out hunting, Richard spots a black bear in the distance, which is peacefully going about its business. But once the bear becomes aware of his presence, no! to approach him, what seems like a casual. <laughs> Sorry, my headphones are keep on getting unplugged. That is making me mad. Let's try this again. It becomes an aggressive charge. Despite Wesley's attempts to make loud noises and intimidate the bear, it leaps at him and swipes, knocking him to the ground. Told you it would be a bad idea. Here's one thing you need to do before you buy anything online. Don't spend another dime on Amazon until you... Quad, 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 He manages to fend off the bear, and he picks up the camera 15 seconds later, happy to be alive. This video shows how the black bear can truly be an unpredictable animal. The following footage was taken by Mark Roberts, who was climbing a mountain in Snowdonia with two pickets. Stone Donia, is that what he just said? I'm not replaying that part. Number three, right here, number three. Axes, when a chunk of ice dislodged above him by another. Oh no, what's gonna happen? Climber hit him, causing him to lose his grip and plummet 100 feet down the mountain. The footage shows Roberts hitting boulders and ice as he fell down the gully before finally coming to a stop. Luckily for that 
look like it hurt. I feel bad for him. I hope he's okay. Roberts, he got out of this with only a broken ankle. Wow. Only a broken ankle. Some people who plummeted down 100 feet it's a sometimes get a concussion or multiple broken limbs or even dead. Wow. Fellow climbers called emergency services and he was rescued soon after by an RAF helicopter. A tourist on a Number four. A bike tour in a rather rough part of Buenos Aires, Argentina, caught something completely unexpected on his GoPro. In broad daylight, a thief rides in front of his path, draws a gun, and demands for the man recording to give him his backpack containing his expensive camera gear. This is in public view with many other people riding bicycles witnessing the events. The man with the gun attempted to steal his camera gear at gunpoint. That person just saw, just stared at that at the guy with the GoPro and just kept on going. But due to the public exposure, things didn't go smoothly for the thief. The man recording claimed he didn't know what the thief was saying, demanding the mochila, which means backpack in Spanish. He gives up the bike instead. That's not what the thief wants, so he chases the man down on foot, gun still drawn. Migo! Yeah, I gotta give it to him. I gotta give it to him. Migo! However, as one of the men in his group apparently comes to his aid, the armed man seems to back off. The man recording got off lucky in this case, just due to the situation with witnesses in all directions. Though it's also very likely that the man was waving a fake or unloaded gun. Some people do do that. They go in stores and say, hey, I have a gun, and pulls out a gun that looks real, but is actually fake. But then they end up going to jail. The man wearing the GoPro capturing this video posted his BMX bike on Facebook Marketplace and was contacted by a girl expressing interest in it. They said, oh no, what's going to happen this time? Set up a meetup place at a gas station. Thanks to the guy's situational awareness. He notices something seems off as a guy in a white hoodie is quickly approaching them. And this oh, I thought there was going to be something wrong with the girl, like, like the um, other guy that drew a gun. I thought she was, like, one of those people. Guess not. Sorry to think that. It's quickly starting to look like a robbery setup. Right? Yeah. yeah. Setup. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's this one. I see. Sorry? Is this the same bike? Yeah. Yeah? Where'd you get this? Uh, uh. Wait, a lobby set up. Does that mean that this girl might have been in uh, on the wobbly set up that they mentioned? Uh, sorry. 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 Yep. Yep. Hey. The girl's reaction, or rather lack of a reaction, to him biking away is also incredibly weird and suspicious. She's not even questioning why he's biking away. As he starts to flee, the guy in the white hoodie starts running after him, shouting at him. No. What the hell? Damn. That guy is fast running on foot while this guy's on the bike. If I had to guess, he was also yelling something at the second guy here, who also appears to be part of the attempted robbery. How many people are in this robbery stuff? Set up thing? To try and grab him off the bike. <laughs> Luckily he's built up enough speed by then to pass the guy and escape. It's no secret that sport rivalries can go anywhere from harmless trash talking to full on fights and riots. Yeah, I've heard about that, but not in real life. I've only heard about that in like video and like videos and in shows and movies.
it's a little less known that there's a big rivalry between Hungarian and Romanian football fans. Oh, number six. Hungarian? Get Hungarian fans cheering and yelling at Romanians on match day. This following video was taken on a GoPro worn by a Hungarian football fan who was answering to the Romanian petards being thrown in the crowds and the provocation by fellow Hungarians. That's dangerous. Are they like fighting and stuff? If they are, that's dangerous because they're on like bleachers and someone could get seriously injured. Barricade fence thrown into the Romanian seats. Is the guy in the GoPro also fighting? Because it just looked like he hit that good dude. Yep. huge group of Hungarian hooligans attacked the security and several Romanian supporters as they were falling back to their sector. After many kicks and punches, three injuries resulted, but none serious. Number seven. This video captured the shocking moment two planes carrying a total of nine skydivers collided mid-air. That's a plane? This video captured the shocking moment two planes carrying a total of nine skydivers collided mid-air 12,000 feet above the ground. The two single-engine planes were in position for a maneuver called the tracking dive with one closely following the other. Is that person on fire? I think I think those ones are planes. They look like planes. The skydivers claimed as they were getting ready to jump that it seemed like the second plane was getting closer and closer, and all of a sudden, they all thought it was getting too close. The impact threw the skydivers out of the plane. Oh, damn! I hope that they are okay. That's dangerous. All landed safely. The pilot of the first plane got out alive too, using his emergency parachute, while the pilot of the second plane miraculously landed the plane safely. Wow. I thought at least one of the pi pilots, or both pilots, would have gotten murdered. But landing the plane just safely like nothing happened? Wow. A similar genre. Last one, number eight. Plane crash caught on tape. Camera catches crash drama up close. Of catastrophe, this final go. So I'm guessing these people are on a plane. Pro video captured the moment a small passenger <laughs> plane made a crash landing into the water on the way to Honolulu, extremely close to the shore. Hawaii! Due to an engine failure, the pilot had to take the plane down into the river as steadily and safely as possible as the horrified passengers watched the ocean fast approaching through the windows. Oh! Everybody was surprisingly calm and organized, escaping the plane quickly and sticking together. However, shockingly, despite the fact that everyone made it out of the plane safely, one person did not survive. 
Highly regarded Hawaiian health official Loretta Fuddy suffered a cardiac arrhythmia, meaning improper beating of the heart while floating in the water waiting for rescuers. Oh, damn. That's sad. Okay. So this is one of the videos that is newest from like four days ago. So that just reminded me. So once I get it two hundred or uh, up to two hundred subscribers or uh, two hundred fifty subscribers, you guys can choose. Um I'm gonna be and then you guys you can choose how many subscribers I need to get um, 200 or 250 to watch the newest videos which I already did but would you guys oh that's like four days ago like an hour ago so these are the stories that you guys can pick from that is the newest one Three disturbing true stories from people's childhoods, which means they are probably most likely to be like grown up. Three horrifying true ski trip horror stories. Three creepy true food delivery horror stories. Or three disturbing true basement horror stories. So you guys can put the title. down below in the comment section and I'll be sure to do the um the videos first that has m that's been mostly um Com commented, but I'm also gonna be doing a poll. Um, and it's gonna be like once I hit 200 or 250 subscribers, um, and then put these four options as it so you guys can enter it. So, yeah. So yeah. If you like the video, please hit the subscribe button, turn on all post notifications, and smash the thumbs up button. And I'll see you in the next video. Hopefully, the next video will be me we me watching these full video one of these full videos for you guys. So for 200 subscribers, I need 7 and for 250, I need a lot more than that. Which I'm not going to do the math in my head. Uh, the math in my head. So yeah. So if you enjoy content like this, please subscribe, turn on all post notifications. And you guys can share any of my videos on my channel with anyone. Um... Please turn on all post notifications I get it for that for these guys. And I'm gonna be putting um his YouTube channel in a video I just watched in the, in the description down below. So I'm gonna so yeah. And I should have done this one on Valentine's Day, but I kind of forgot that I even, even watched this person, so yeah. Please hit the thumbs up button, turn on all push notifications, hit the subscribe button, and comment down below what videos I should um, do. Oh, just comment how many subscribers you think I should get to to watch um, these full one of these four videos and then and then um vote what you guys want me to wa watch on the poll that I, is going to come out right after this video so i hope you enjoyed today's 
well tonight's video and i'll see you in the next one bye